Hello and welcome to a beginner's guide to Dwarf Fortress. With Dwarf Fortress just hitting steam here recently, I thought it would be a good idea to get a sort of uh, a tutorial to get you into the game. If you're like me and reading through tutorials just doesn't do it for you, you need to watch a video on uh, on well, to help kind of help you get along because there's a lot going on with this game. Then my hope is by the end of this video you'll have a uh, a stable fortress that's uh, somewhat sustainable. Uh, you, you'll have uh, defense and farming and food and, and and crafting and before you know it, you'll be digging too deep. Um, so that's the plan here today. Uh, so we'll start with this thing off with what is dwarf fortress? I suppose. Uh, think of this as we've got seven dwarves. We're we are in the mountains and we've decided to leave our mountain homes and head off into the wilderness to build a fortress. What do we do with that fortress? Well, that's where the game gets a little bit uh, complicated because there really is no goal for Dwarf Fortress. Uh, the, losing is fun is sort of like the theme here with Dwarf Fortress. It's a simulation. Think of it as uh, if you want to make Moria, you can do that. If you want to make a farming village, you can do that. If you want to make a, uh, a temple to a volcano god, you can do that. It's a very open-ended thing, and that's a little bit overwhelming for new folks getting into the game. So I'm going to hopefully... Get you through that. So anyway, let's start this thing off by creating a world. So we begin any game of Dwarf Fortress. We build ourselves a new world. Now, for most of this, uh, if anything's overwhelming, I'm going to try to ease into it. But for the most part, just leave it as it is. I'm going to go with small to make it a little bit faster. But we've got just a nice standard world here. We can go detailed if we want to. But for now, we're just going to create ourselves a world. Now, in this creation process, there's a lot going on here. It's creating every dwarf, every human, elf, uh, all the monsters and goblins. It's creating their families and uh, all like the quests that these these folks have gone on. Maybe a dwarf ran off into the mountains and fought a dragon. The dragon ate him up. Uh, well, we can read that in here. That's happening now. Wars are happening. Uh, some civilizations may rise and fall. And there's a lot of detail here. In fact, I've actually used a dwarf fortress uh, world building thing as a D&D campaign before because there's just so much information in the game that it plays everything out for you uh, and you can see it kind of running by here we're on year 100 already within that you can see a lot of the, the big notes happening along the way here with like uh, the boar terrors of tenderness the chunky barbarity founded great uh, basically there's different places here on the world and you can kind of look around here and see uh, different spots there. there's a giant volcano there in the middle of the world Everything is located up there in the top right. It is the Points of Starving is the name of that volcano. Now, we've got some sinister places there. There is a uh, a dwarven tower there, which may belong to like a necromancer of some kind. we got a human castle over here, another human castle. The dwarves like to hang out in the mountains, of course. Uh, the elves, of course, hang out in the trees. But we're going to say, yeah, great world. Let's continue on. There's three different ways of, of, of playing. I uh, use quotes with the word playing. For Dwarf Fortress, there is Fortress Mode, which is what we're going to be doing today, which is the one you're probably familiar with, where you get you dig your minds into the into the, into the the world. Uh, there is a Adventure Mode, which is not here yet in the Steam version. You take one adventure and roam through that world you just made. And there's also Legends Mode, which basically just tells us everything we just saw and uh, uh, lists it out for us. Every artifact in the world, every site, every poem, every war, every civilization, it's all in there. Um, you know, Urus the Dwarf got a black eye because he ran into a dingo at one point. That's that's listed in there. So, we're going to go into Fortress mode and start this thing off. Now, there is a tutorial in the game, and uh, I, I do recommend you use it uh, and and get into the game. It will, it will, it will uh, hopefully teach you some keys and at least get you to where you know what you're doing. But uh, uh, I will do my best to get you in here as well. Now, uh, this is the world we just made, and you can see you, know, you can see the mountains, and you can see the forests, and you can see the rivers. Mostly what you want to look for here, especially for your first or second embark, is just a void. And you can see all the notes over here. Where my cursor is is what's going on over there. There's a brook there. There's some sand. There's some soil. There's an aquifer. There's all the different metals in there. We're dwarves. We like metals. If we want to do anything, we need metals. The only thing I say to watch out for is anything that's sinister, obviously. I shouldn't have to tell you that. If you see something sinister or something haunted, you probably should stay away from that. Uh, and also, stay away from aquifers. Aquifers are just kind of a pain, especially for, like, early on in the game. So we're going to find a place. We're dwarves. We're going to find a place here in the mountains somewhere. The west is, like, mountain land, looks like. So we're going to find a place in the mountains. We can click to zoom in. Middle mouse to kind of scoot us around here, or WASD. And we'll find a spot like... 
Um, you can kind of see what we're looking at here. There's soil over there. There's some soil. There's not a lot of soil here in the mountains, of course. There's some trees over here. Also, you make sure you want to make sure you've got trees because you need trees to make beds and barrels and uh, a few important things. Bows, of course. So we're going to go in here and click embark and find a spot to call home. If you've got a less uh, a less than optimal computer, you can you can lower this this embark size, but we're just going to leave it as it is for right now and pick a spot. Uh, temperate savanna. Perfect. Right there seems nice. Uh, if you want to go without any enemies, then you can turn that off. I won't judge you. Uh, in fact, I probably would, would would recommend that for your first few forts. But for right now, we're going to leave it as it is. I'm kind of touching the buttons here. Uh, at this point in the game, we can choose to just jump into the game and do whatever you want. Uh, it gives you a, a beginning pack of dwarves and gear and dogs and cats and all that and food. Or you can do it yourself. Like uh, like Oregon Trail, really. You're gonna you pick your dwarves out. You pick what they bring with you: anvils and axes and all that. And you can pick it all as you trudge out into the world. We're just gonna pick play now, though, to get us into the game, and to just you know, well, get into the game. So we've arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all of Kironitith. That is the name of our civilization. Almost no supplies left, but with stout labor comes sustenance. Whether by bolt, plow, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You're expecting a supply caravan. There's going to be a caravan coming in here in the uh, in the fall. Um, but for right now, we're on our own until winter, winter entombs us. It's spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings ere the dingoes get hungry. The name of our place is Acrylacor. Tin Cavern. Strike the Earth. What a name for a fortress. All right, so what are we looking at? Well... Let me, let, me, let me show you here. Well, so right here, we've got a wagon. Uh, the wagon is what we've brought all of our stuff on. So things like our axes, our, our anvils, our food, our drinks. That's all on that wagon right now. All these different folks standing around here are our dwarves. We've got uh, uh, Mebzith here, Mebzith the Miner. You can always click on anybody. Uh, right click will take it off. Left click, click on him. Doran, who's our fisher dwarf. He's 55 years old. This is what he, he values knowledge. He's got a good memory. This is a big part of the game of Dwarf Fortress is the detail that's put into every single character in the game. He's impatient. Uh, uh, he, he's a proficient fisher dwarf. He loves going out and catching fish. He even talks about it. Uh, um, everyone has relationships, and uh, you know they'll get married and all that. If you ever have any, we'll see this later on, thoughts is a good way, uh, an overview actually, well, it's a good way of kind of getting an idea what, uh, if your dwarves are happy. And, and what they're missing. If they're missing chairs, or if they're missing mugs, or, or they're getting rained on, they'll tell you all this stuff, and so you can kind of help you out. Now, as far as what we're looking at for the game world, I'm going to use the mouse wheel to scroll up, and we can go up into the air. I'm going to hold control and scroll as well to kind of zoom out a bit so we can get an idea of what we're looking at here. We're just looking at a top-down view here. So I scroll up, we zoom up, and I scroll down, we zoom down. Now, we're dwarves. We're going to be going into the mountain, of course, because that's what we do. Uh, but for right now, we're just going to find a spot to uh, to dig on in. So I'm going to zoom in here back to our dwarves. You can also see our animals. We've got our lamb and a cat. Let's see what the cat is. There's Mr. Stray Cat. He's four years old. He's tough, but he's kind of lazy. Makes sense. Anything that is, uh, you can put your cursor on. This is all mouse-based now. So anything we can look at here is, like, this is all uh, peat. It's peat walls here. So we're going to go in. The first thing we're going to do is dig into the mountain. Uh, there's there's three things, right? We want we want food, we want shelter, we want drink. Those are our first priorities. So we got to get underground, and we want to get all of our stuff underground as well because there's things out there we don't want to deal with. So let's click beginning thing and then click on back. So we're gonna dig ourselves a nice tunnel here. I'm gonna do a two wide tunnel and let them dig away. Now as we come into here, uh, we want to get stuff inside, right? So we get a stockpile. So let's start off with a a a, uh, a nice square room here. Like that. And we're going to hit space. And I have a dwarf who is a miner who should go get their pick. There she goes. And she's going to start digging. And there is, you can see, that is Mebzith here. We just saw Mebzith. Mebzith is 71 years old. She's digging at the moment. She is a proficient miner. She's also good at appraising some things. She's satisfied at work. So she's going to go dig around all she wants. If, for instance, we want to add another dwarf to go and help with the mining. I'm going to pause the game real quick. We can come in here and look at our dwarves. Everything, uh, all of our information for wh what is in the map is right here in front of us. There's our dwarves. We got Mebzith. We saw Mebzith. We got Sotal, our woodworker. We got Doosum, a mason. We got uh, Az Imiteb, is a metal crafter. Uh, Doran here is a fishing dwarf. We saw him a minute ago. He's out. That's what he does. Is fishing. We got Thikut, the planter, gets us food. We got Rigoth, our expedition leader. He's the guy in charge of this whole 
this whole operation. Uh, any pets we may have are also listed in this this menu here, and you can see all of them. Some of them we're going to have to get out into a, a pasture at some points, which we will certainly do. We can slaughter them if we need to. Uh, if there's anything in the world on our map right now. There's a Kestrel and an Eagle. And no one's dead yet. Yet. So, but for now, for the first thing we gotta do is just get the place dug out. I would like to have my my minor dwarf get a little help. Only one person digging. We've got more than one pickaxe. So, let's go grab, like our metal crafter here, old Az, isn't doing anything right now. And so, Az, I would like you. I'm gonna go over here to Az's chart. We're gonna go to labor. I'm gonna say, Az, go mine. Right click to get it off. As you'll notice, we'll go to the cart, get a pickaxe, and get to help mine in. These little black bits in here is some black zircon clusters. Good stuff. Dwarves, we, we're dwarves, we love that kind of stuff. Now, right now, we're in a peat cavern floor. Ideally, we go into some stone floors, but this is fine for, for just getting into the game. we got a stockpile here now, stockpile space here now. So let's go do that before we do anything else. Let's get all our stuff inside. We're going to click on, down here at the bottom, the place stockpiles for item storage. And we're going to click on the stockpile place. We're going to click and click. And we accept. That's where our stockpile is going to be. What kind of stockpile is that? The game is asking me. Well, we're going to say all for right now. Uh, actually, we're going to say we're going to say custom right now. And I'm going to go ahead and put everything in there except for corpses, no corpses, and no refuse. And I want no stones in there and no wood in there. Oh, everything else is fine. It can go in there, but all that stuff's going to stay out. Again, right click, it goes away. Right click again, it goes away. And the dwarves are, you can see they're going through th th the cart, grabbing that stuff, throwing it inside. If anything comes up, any any tool tips, they're all listed over here. We can right click to make that go away. There's uh, there's no, my fisherman is complaining there's no fish to catch. He'll be all right. All right, so we've got we've got our stuff underground, but we still have, don't have shelter. We don't have uh, drink. We don't have food. So let's deal with that. So we're going to start out with some more mining. Let's go ahead and dig out a, um, let's get like a farm spot first. So let's dig out a nice square here for our fields. And then our fields are going to make mushrooms. We're dwarves. We could we could plant outside if we wanted to, but that's that sounds kind of elven, and we don't do that around here. And so as long as we are on dirt, dirt or sand, we can place our farmland. And so we're going to do that. What do we have over here? So one of our animals has grown up. We have struck alanite, and there's nothing to catch in the southeastern swamps. Yeah, yeah. My, my fisherman dwarf is just having all kinds of troubles. Okay, so there's going to be our farmland over here. Let's go ahead and get that set up. Now, we've got the mining menu, which was or the digging menu, I should say, was down here. We want to dig stairs. We want to dig uh, um, the uh, the caverns if we want. If we want to get rid of these this ramp right here, we can click on the no ramps tool and click on that, and it'll clear that out so we can have a nice opening into our fortress here. Uh, let's go ahead and get into our building menu. So we're going to spend a lot of time here. Anytime we make anything, we're going to go into this build menu, and we're going to go into workshops. Now, uh, workshops will be things like carpenter shop and mason and, and well, everything you can see here. Uh, we want to get our farming started up first. So let's go to the farm, and we're going to go into the farm plot. And again, we're going to just click and click. Uh, I think standard is like this. You select a material after placement, and it doesn't have that on there. So we're going to click, and that's good enough, probably right, right about there. And so one of my dwarves, my planter dwarf, which we know we have a planter dwarf. Uh, well, maybe this is doing it. Our miner's doing it. So they're going to come over here and they're going to build that. And they're going to they're plow those fields there. Underground, because we make mushrooms. Dwarves uh, have one, there's one staple food, and that is plump helmets. We can eat them. We can drink them. We don't need water. We just need booze. And we make that out of those plump helmets. So if we if we have a water supply nearby, that's there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't think I have anything on this map. I didn't see anything anyway. Um, pick up. I don't think. I, yeah, I don't have any water on this map. This is just a mountain. Like a couple little puddles out there, which is what he's whining about. They're too small to have any fish in or anything. But it's not a problem because there are caverns underneath the place, and so we can eventually dig down and get water and uh, and, and all kinds of surprises for us. So the the farm is ready to go. We're gonna click on it and tell them to make plump helmets. Now this is in the spring. Plant plump helmets in the spring. We want plump helmets all year. So we're going to plump helmets all year. That is our food source, and that is our drink source. Most important drink source. We can always click on a dwarf and see what's going on. Euphoric due to inebriation. They brought some beer with them, so they she is happy that she gets to drink. She's annoyed having to drink without using a cup. So she's going over to the barrel, and she's just holding her hands out and looking it up like a cat. That's just how things are when you're uh, 
in dwarf land, I guess. So across the way here, we're going to make our still. And let's get that start up first. Remember, food, drink, and uh, um, and sel shelter. So back to workshops. We're going to go back into farming. And we're going to go to the still. This is going to brew alcohol from plants, fruit, or honey. We're going to put it... Uh, I can put it in the same room here. I'm just going to stick it across the hall. Just because that's what I made here. So I'm going to click on that guy. And every time you make something, it's going to ask you, what do you want to make it out of? Do you want to make it about out of out of alanite? It's these purple rocks here. We've got brimstone also, which is right right in here. Uh, we'll take the alanite. Doesn't really matter. It takes one of these things. Click on it. There you go. Somebody's gonna go over there and craft it up. Looks like um, uh, uh, Mesbeth again. Mesbeth is very busy. Very busy. The only dwarf really does anything around here. So she's gonna make a still, and that'll give us some some uh, drinks. Now, to deal with workshops, we're gonna click on it. And we're, this is going to come up this way. So we've got a still. Nothing's happening with this still. We're going to add a new task. I would like you to make some drinks. So we'll do that in a minute. When we get some, we're going to go blue, brew drink from plants. That's going to be our thing we're going to do here as soon as we can. You can see it says requires empty food storage item. Means that we don't have any barrels to put it into. So let's, let's deal with that. I'm going to dig out a little bit more here. Something like that. We're just gonna have like an end an end room here. And this is gonna be kind of like our, our main our main hall for our dwarves. We'll have our tables and our chairs. This is our shelter. Tables, chairs, uh, a place to store our drinks, all that kind of stuff. Uh, because my still is right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in a, uh, a another stockpile. This stockpile is going to be just my drinks and food. Uh, we'll put it in right there. That's good. And we can come in here and say, I want just food. In there. In fact, if you want to be more specific, we can come in here and say, "I want, I want none of that. I just want drinks in here." If we want, if we wanted to be that specific, which is fine. So all our drinks will be in that room next to this still. So the person that goes and makes the makes the drinks, they can toss it in there and they're done. You know, nice and easy. So they're going to continue digging out here, and uh, we have a, an important thing that I haven't made yet, and that is a carpenter's workshop and a mason shop, a stone cutter shop. Looks like we've hit some some stone here finally. So let's go and let's make this like a, a, a main meeting hall. Um, yeah, we'll leave it like that. I'm going to go ahead and carve a little bit more out here and do uh, like our carpenter shop and our mason back here. This isn't going to be the most most secure of, whoops, most secure of fortresses, but it'll be something. Uh, something to get us in there. Uh, uh, we'll get some doors to get this place sealed up. We'll get, uh, we'll, we'll get food and drink and all that get taken care of. This room is done over here, and so, uh, and also, all, as is this one. So let's go ahead and get to building another workshop. We want to go ahead and get a carpenter shop. This is going to take all the wood outside and make it into beds or barrels or whatever. So we make it out of brimstone, sure. You maybe want to, where's all the wood? We don't have any wood. That's right. We haven't chopped any. So we're going to go to the tree chopping thing, uh, a button, and chop some trees. There's two trees here. We just sort of highlight whatever we got over there. There's one there. We can highlight that. And our woodcutter which we can see over here. We can go to tasks. Actually, click tasks right here. And all the things we've got. Fell tree. Looks like Sotal is on the way to doing it. And we can see Sotal right there. We can even follow Sotal if we want. And watch Sotal chop that tree down. And there goes all the logs. What do we can do with these logs? They're just laying them around outside? Uh, we can, or because I didn't put wood in that stockpile, we can set up just like a wood stockpile outside. Just, you know, for keep things organized around here. Uh, an organized dwarf is a happy dwarf. No, I don't know about that, but that's... Uh, sure. Let's go get a wood stockpile there. And so then, if they have any free time, they'll go do that. We'll go over all the tasks and all the work orders in a minute, and we'll we'll see where that comes in. But those will get hauled over there in a minute. What they're dealing with these uh, these farm plots at the moment. Now, the carpenter's workshop. We want it to make barrels and beds and things. So same thing. Add a new task. What do we want? We want beds. Uh, we want like let's make like four beds. There's an easier way of doing this, but I'm going to show you the basic way right now. We want beds. We want barrels. That's where we're going to be putting our our drinks into and food. Um, we can take a couple bins because that'll help us with our stockpile land. Also, keep things a little more organized. We can have a whole rather than having a toy per square, we can have a toy in every uh, mini toys in one square. It's a bin. So there's the carpenter shop and Sotal again is hard at work getting that done. If there's ever a time. When somebody's not doing a job that you want them to do, you can go over here to, uh, don't show me that again, uh, over here into tasks, uh, um, sorry, labor. Now, labor is all the jobs that our dwarves are going to do and what they're good at as well. So, for instance, miners. We've got Mebzith and Az are our two miners. They're the only ones that are selected to do the mining job. So if you ever have something done, like you put out your planting and nobody plants, 
you know, no one's no one's doing the job, for instance, then you'll have a planter now. So right right now, it was, everyone was able to do it, which is why everyone was hanging out there. I just want Thikut to go and do the planting. It was over here. Now it's just Thikut is going to be going and doing it. Uh, same with the fisher dwarfs. Only the fishermen will do it. If there's anything missing, then this this is how you fix that. The stone cutters, engravers, and haulers is all on everybody. We can change that. If you ever need to uh, to add a new one, maybe you want to have a doctor, for instance, uh, you can do that. And uh, um, you can select who you want your doctor to be. Uh, we'll say Regith. You can go be a doctor. You know, that kind of stuff. You can change the name if you want. This is this is my my doctor uh, one. There we go. Okay, again, right click goes away. So we got things, some things made. We have a carpenter shop making some beds. Apparently he's made some. They are not enough space in my storage bin. So they're just hanging out over there. Uh, I forgot I have food in here. So I'm going to go ahead and tell this stockpile. Click on it. Click view stockpile. I'm going to tell it to not carry drinks. Oops, wrong button. Not carry drinks. Because the drinks are in the other one. So all the drinks should get moved from here into here. So our, our still will get to work uh, as it needs to get to work. Uh, one more thing we want to do with our animals. we got a bunch of animals hanging around this, this cart here. And they need a place to pasture. Not all of them have to pasture. Like the cats and the dogs and like bunnies and chickens. They can be wherever. But some animals, like the horses. Um, the horses, animals that eat grass, basically. Uh, we're going to go and give them a zone. So we got a new, new button here. The green dwarf down here is a zone. So we're going to set up a spot. We'll just put it in like right... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like right um, in here. And we're going to make this a pin slash pasture. We're going to click there and just put him like... That's fine. So there's our pasture of our animals. We accept that. And we say what animals are going to be in there with this button right here. And we can say, the dogs and cats can go anywhere. The cats are good to keep around the food, keeps the rats out. Dogs keep other things out, birds and things away from your food and stuff. So let's go and put uh, the donkey, uh, the sheep, the llama, the horse. They will all go over there. You can right click and someone will grab them and move them into the pasture so they'll hang out here and not die. So if you ever have an animal that's dying because they're hungry, they're not pastured. Uh, looks like Sodal has made a masterpiece cherry wood bed. Great. Speaking of beds... Our dwarves don't sleep anywhere. Shelter was one of the first ones I mentioned, and we're not doing it. So let's build a doorway here. We're going to build a little hallway. We're just going to make a dormitory for right now. You can do individual bedrooms, of course. Uh, typically, when I do individual bedrooms, I do like um, just little two-by-two two rooms. You can do two-by-three rooms if you want more space for your dwarves and give them each individual beds. Uh, um, for right now, a dormitory is fine this early in the game. So we'll get that dug out for that. Um, I want to also make... I'll do that one out there. So our, um, are you, uh, oh, we, get, we need more barrels getting made. Uh, let's get some more barrels made. More barrels, two more barrels. Why don't we? There you go. She's going to get to work over there. Okay, so here's our dormitory. Now, in the carpenter shop, we made those beds. They're hanging out in there. You can see them in the pile. We got a, we got a cherry bed. We got a pecan bed. So it looks like we got a, another cherry one over there as well. So let's go put those out. Again, build for B. Uh, uh, and we're going to go into furniture this time. And we're going to say beds. So now, this can be kind of annoying if you have it on the default setting, which you select material every time and uses the, uh, and, and it's going to, I'll show you. Click on it. It's going to ask me what to make it out of that bed right there. Done. Or we can come in here, click furniture, click bed, click use closest material. They'll make a bed. They'll make it out of whatever bed's closest and then keep building after I'm done with it. I'm making a bunch of beds. So let's keep on doing it there. And we'll go until we don't have any more. And there we go. We've got four beds. I'm going to go over there and get them done as soon as I can. So there is our dormitory, but it's not a dormitory yet. It's just beds in a room. We got to set up as a dormitory. We do that with our zones. So we're gonna click on zone. We're gonna click the corner. No, oh, sorry. We're gonna click on dormitory, and we're gonna fill this room. That is our dormitory now. And all those beds are known as dormitories, so the dwarves will know where to go sleep. Uh, um, let's go ahead and get that that uh, stone worker shop I was talking about before. So we go to the workshops again. We're gonna go in here into into a, uh, uh, a stone worker, there's a stone worker shop, and throw it in right here. There we go. Because I have that still set up, it's just going to make it out of whatever. If I wanted to go back to select a material, I could click that one again to have it do that. Uh, something I like to do is I like to have like a wood stock pile and a stone stock pile next to my carpenter and my mason because then they don't have to go so far to grab stuff. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. 
we'll set up a small stockpile right here. Something like that. And that will be our wood stockpile. Which we've already got wood outside, but there'll be some more wood in there. And we can make another one uh, over here of stone. There we go. So they'll haul whatever they can out this way. Uh, you may notice my dwarves are still hanging out outside. And if we look at them, they are probably a little cranky about sitting in the rain. I think it was raining earlier. Uh, well, it was raining earlier. Now, now it's cleared. Uh, annoyed caught in the rain. And you wonder, why are they hanging out outside? we got a whole fortress here. Well, we need to set up a meeting area. So same thing with zones. We're going to come in. We're going to select a meeting area. We're going to put this in right here. This is going to be my my tables and chairs and just place to hang out and dance. Poets will come in here and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And accept. Uh, I'm also going to make this a dining hall. Let's go ahead and click that same zone here and accept. So there's my dining hall and meeting area. If I wanted to give someone their own specific dining hall, I can click that here and give it to a specific dwarf. But no, this is for anybody. They can come in here and do that. And speaking of, let's make some tables and chairs. And we can do it out of wood. We can do it out of stone, whichever one. So we'll make... Um, uh, actually, you know what? I'll have my mason make a couple of doors. Let's make, like, four doors. And I will show you how to make things a little easier. Rather than just coming in here and having to say, um, Bridget from Plants and... Do it all the time. Repeat this task indefinitely. Just if you got an empty barrel and you got plump helmets, you squeeze those plump helmets and you fill up your barrels as much as you can, which they are doing right now as we speak. We can also go in and depending whether I want to show this right now or uh, here, let me pause. Let me pause. Uh, they're missing some plants. That's what that one's all about. My my leader can't brew drinks because there's no plants because they're, they're they're just not coming in. So again, we can go in to our mason shop and we can build them like I've shown. But there's an easier way. There's a work order way. And this way you can set up like uh, you, you're going to hire someone to be your manager. And that manager is going to go and and give out orders and tell you what and tell your other dwarves what to do. We do that all in here in the administrator's menu. So administrator's menu. This one is all of the folks that are in charge of the fortress. We can see Regoth here, who's our expedition leader. Uh, if anyone needs a bed uh, or or their own uh, their own desk or their own their own dining room, then all will be listed here. You may get a mayor, you may get a king if you're if you have a very large fortress, uh, and they want their own stuff. Which I've shown how to do that, how to assign it to certain people, um, and some of these guys will want offices. So we're gonna go get ourselves a manager. We'll click the plus sign there on manager. Uh, if anyone is good at managing, it'll say it over here. Right now, Regoth is the only adequate organizer, which is fine. Regoth. He's an expedition leader. He's a manager. What a great guy. He wants a study. So he wants to be able to go in, go to his desk, take notes or whatever he does in there. So that's what our next task is going to be. And if we need a dwarf, uh, uh, a medical dwarf, we can do that here. A broker, we're going to use that for whenever uh, the traders come in to go and do some trading. We want someone who knows how to appraise and how to get good value. Uh, a bookkeeper will keep these numbers... All the stocks we have in our fortress, food and drink and seeds, it'll keep those numbers more exact. Right now, it's about 70. There's about 40 drinks. But if we get a good bookkeeper, he can keep those numbers uh, better and more accurate for us. Um, the militia commander, we'll go over that in a minute. And I'll let you figure out the rest of them when you get to it. So we've got a manager now. Uh, even though he doesn't have a room, he can still do his job. So let's go over to the work orders. Again, all these buttons down here, you can click any of them and get to what you want to. Work orders, there it is. So if you want to make a new order, let's go make a new order. So I want some chairs, basically. I want a chairs, rather than having to click at build chair, build chair, build chair multiple times, we can say, I want some wooden chairs. And I would like, I don't need 10 of them, but I like, you know, let's get six of them in this place. If you wanted to mess with like less than, if like checking if there's uh, if there's less than two, then come in and make more. You can do that here. We're not going to worry about that. We're just going to make six chairs. Done. I also want to make some tables. Let's make. Oops. Let's make some stone tables. We want rock tables, and we want to make six of those as well. So now my my manager will go over there and tell some folks to get to work, and these will start getting made. You can see they are showing up. If something is, is being done, you can see it's it's being done as we speak. She's in there right now. Doosum is in there make, uh, working it. My mason is in the carpenter shop for some reason. Sodal is in the mason shop, whatever. Uh, and when they get done, we can go and move them into our dining room. So we'll have a place to sleep 
and a shelter. Um, I think I've made some doors. Let's go back to the building menu and let's build some doors. Doors. And again, we can select what we want to make. Sure, I'm going to put a door here in the entrance. And we've got two Alanite doors. We'll put one there and we'll put one right there. At least, you know, close this place up. We can put more doors for our dormitory. We can put them in here as well. Let's get those tables and chairs done as well. So we'll get, we got six tables, which may or may not be done. Uh, and if they're not, it's fine. Uh, nope, actually, in fact, none of them are done. So let's go make, maybe my chairs are done. Let's see. Uh, there's four. Oh, okay, four of them are done. So they go get those chairs and, and pull them over there. Uh, I do want to show a couple other things. Uh, this is the beginnings of a fort, right? We, we're secure. Our animals are alive. Uh, we've got food. We've got drink. We've got uh, um, carpenter shop. We be beds and things being made. We've got barrels being made. Uh, my wooden chairs have been made. It tells me up there. Right click to get a, go away. Um, we've got a somewhat secure place. Animals are fine. The cart is no longer useful. We can click on it and get rid of that cart, which will pull all that stuff inside. Um, eventually, of course, our animals can go inside once we get uh, maybe some caverns down below or something. I do want to show stairs because it's not a bad idea to just go straight down. Uh, we're living in dirt at the moment, which is, which is uh, borderline elf. And we don't want that. So we're going to go back into the digging orders and we're going to set up some stairs. So let's build a stairwell like here. Let's just go like three wide. We click there and we're going to go down. Go down four levels. And that's how, and you can see they're already working on it. And as they go down, they're going to find, we got some silt down here. We've got, uh, what is that? Some cobaltite, some alanite, some gold. We found gold in our walls right there. Not a bad idea to mine that stuff out to uh, make some things to sell. So there we go. Um, that is, oh, let me get, let me get my tables set up here. I'll get two more chairs, chair, chair, and we'll get tables. There we go, tables done. Let's get them all placed in there. Looks like I missed one somehow. Put our table back right there. Nice pink tables, I like it. So this is now our dining room, so people will have a place to hang out. Uh, they can come get drinks over here. The food is over here. The stockpile could certainly be, be bigger, um, but right now it's fine. The anvils over there we'll use for our metal works. Uh, we've got the wheelbarrow they will use if they need. Um, I don't have a, a a kitchen yet, which I probably should do. So let's go and do that. I'm going to set it in. I'll just set it back here. We'll mine that out. We'll get a kitchen going. So uh, while they're building that, let me show off military. So we've got food. We've well, we've got drink. We've got shelter. We need security. So this flag over here is the squad sidebar. And this is going to show me uh, that I need a, a militia commander to make a squad. And how do we do that? We saw that before. We go back to the nobles. In the nobles screen, we can make a militia commander. If anyone is skilled in being a militia commander, it'll tell me. No one is right now, our early guys. I'm going to take as, I think, because my metal crafter isn't really important right now. They're not doing anything of importance as we speak. Uh, my militia commander does not need anything. Uh, and so we've just got them assigned. And once we get them, you can see this loads up new squad. So we can click over here. Uh, there's two different ones I recommend starting with. If you start with the basic one, you probably will have enough stuff for a metal armor. You'll have weapons anyway. You'll have melee weapons. You start with, I think, um, I think you start with a, with a war hammer. Um, so that is fine for a very basic start. You can also do archer, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. But we're going to go with metal armor. And we've got the matched chambers. They have no orders right now. They're off duty. Let's go ahead and put some dwarves in there. We can change what they look like. Like they can have a plus sign. The the yeah yeah. There we go. Perfect. Um, that that's good. Uh, uh, let's go click on the dwarf here. And we've got as is our only dwarf in this squad. We want more. We click that. And we can say Meb. Well, Mebzith is very busy. Let's put Thikut and Sodal and Doran. They can be in there right now. They're off. They're off duty, so it doesn't really matter um, that they're. That, that they're in the squad. They'll only be in there whenever I need them. And if I need them, I come over here. I click the squad button. Yeah, I gotcha. I, I keep on forgetting to click that off. Uh, we click on the box, and it will tell us we got different orders. We can tell them to go kill something. We can tell them to move somewhere. Move over here, and they will eventually come gather and stand in that spot. And you can see there they go. They went to got weapons, and they're going to stand here in that spot. If we want to cancel an order, we hit the cancel. If we want to give them a route, we can do that as well and have them pace around 
the dining room. And they'll pace around the dining room. Or you can set this up as an order, like along your wall outside once you get a fortress. Cancel that. Or we can we can assign them to a, a burrow defense, like stand them in a tower with a bow. Uh, we can assign them to to train somewhere. And and but for right for basic stuff, there's your basic stuff. So um, if you want to get an archer squad, you're gonna come in here and you're gonna make a bowyer. A bowyer's gonna make the crossbows, and you make a craft shop, which is gonna make your bolts. And that's a very easy and simple way to get a starting military squad. Um, if anything, for shooting wildlife or any bears or anything else that comes wandering along. Um, I want to make, show you the kitchen. So we're going to make a kitchen in here. Again, workshops. And we're going to go into the farming and the kitchen right there. The kitchen shop is going to be right there. And this is where we're going to make sure we get food going. This is one of those ones that probably would be use a useful place to use the manager uh, to tell, like, if you have less than 10 meals, then put it back up to 50. Otherwise, we come in here and we say, you know, make easy meals. and put it. I can put it on repeat, but they're going to keep on making it over and over and over again. So you may end up with a lot of meals if you don't watch that. But there we go. We've got food. We've got drink. We've got uh, the ability to craft We've got supplies. We have a, a secure, somewhat base. We got doors. Uh, you know, it's something. If we need to lock a door, we can do that here. Click on the door. Forbid it. If someone, if something terrible comes out and wants to kill us, um, I want to make sure we get another door over here. I, I, I'm, I, I don't like that. There's no door here in my bedroom. So we're gonna put a door in my bedroom. There we go. And then I, I, I got one more thing I want to show, and that is, we can dig out this gold. Just sort of dig that out and get that gold taken care of because when the traders arrive, it'd be nice to have something to sell them. Because if we can sell them something, then we can buy stuff from them, we can get new armor from them, we can get books, we can get poems, we can get all kinds of stuff from them. So let's go ahead and make a craft shop right here. I'm just going to stick it in here. Uh, not the ideal place, but we'll just put it right over there. It's fine. I typically like to have a stockpile kind of in the middle and have my shop sort of around it and nearby so they can grab it. Uh, oh, look, some migrants have arrived. We got 15 dwarves now. We had seven before. Eight folks have shown up. Excellent. Uh, we've got, oh, yeah, the the fighting thing. Um, nothing to catch in the swamps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the rock tables are done. Okay, you can see this this place is, is getting exciting. There's so many dwarves around. Craft door shape shop is done. Add a task. I would like to make, now, uh, you can kind of pick whatever you want. These are just going to be things that you're going to make for, uh, for selling. And so... I can't do anything with gold right now. We don't have, I don't have Metal Crafter. But if I wanted to make, like, um, let's see. We can make something out of rock. Let's make rock dice. Uh, figurines are, are pretty nice because there's like, a, there's, like, a story with every figurine. So I can tell them to uh, put it on repeat if I want. They'll be very busy. I'm just making these rock figurines. And, uh, but they, they, they sell well. And then we can get new stuff from our, from our friends, from the, from the homes, the mountain homes. Uh, one last thing I want to show so you don't starve in case you don't get enough plump helmets in here is we're going to go ahead and get a workshop and we're going to make back in the farming and we're going to get a butcher. We're going to set this guy outside because he's kind of smelly. And so we'll just stick him in there. And when you get someone that's going to be a hunter, he's going to work on his own. He'll go out. If there's any animals that pop into, into the world, he'll go out and grab them. Uh, right now there's a bunch of birds out there. He may not get those. But there's a few things he may, he may grab. Um... Oh yeah, we had, we had migrants come in, so our stockpile over here, uh, or sorry, our, 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 our this, our uh, pasture, needs more animals probably. Uh, yeah, we got a pea hen, a peacock, we can put in there, it looks like we've got, uh, what are you? I'm not sure what that is, is that a bunny? Is that a guinea pig maybe? Might be a guinea pig, he might be fine. If you ever get anything saying like your animals are starving or whatever, that means they want a pen. So... And the dogs are in here. We can put the dogs into the stockpile to like, or the cats actually are a good good idea to keep them in there. Uh, this stockpile, I want to build this, grow the stockpile. So I'm going to click on it, click view stockpile, and I'm going to click the repaint the stockpile. Click, click, and there we go. So there, the stockpile is bigger now, so we can actually get things moved into there. So there you go. There is a um, a very big be beginning basic fort. I try to get this done in 30 minutes. I'm not going to make it. Uh, but a, a good idea that I've I've sort of learned over the years of Dwarf Fortress, and I got a lot of this from last time I did a tutorial video, was um, 
a good idea to kind of get you into the game is to this is a very open game, right? There's no way, there's no right or wrong way to play Dwarf Fortress. You're gonna die, and uh, learning to just play to have fun and sort of enjoy the simulation that's happening that is that is the game. And a good way of getting in here is coming in and building. You build your first fort, make it live for a year. You survive a year. You've you've you've, you've passed test number one. Then come in and make a make like a farming fortress, all built around farming. Grow the different things. Grow the pump helmets and the cave wheat and the pigtails. Grow some outside stuff. Grow strawberries and potatoes, and have a whole farming operation that you can sell to the traders that come in. Which, by the way, I almost forgot. You need a trade depot is going to go outside. It needs to be somewhere that the, the traders can get to. And they cannot get in. They need to be, a, they can't get through doors. So put it outside somewhere. So the traders come in, they can stop there and you can trade with them. Um, you can build a, like a ranching place. Get all these different animals in here and, and raise them up. Buy animals from the traders. You can have a military fort and just focus all about making weapons and armor and building a military fort. Get into metals. Uh, start digging deeply and greedily. And, um, and that is Dwarf Fortress. That's the very basics, very, very basics of Dwarf Fortress. There's a lot going on here. I didn't want to overwhelm you with the world, but welcome to the world. Um, we are right here. We are the uh, Tin Cavern, right? That's the name of our place. Uh, our civilization is called the Holy City. Excellent. Which is these blue folks over here. Say we wanted to go on a raid. There's a tower over here. The Dwarven Tower over here. We, uh, the, the matched whatevers, our are, are ray, our are, are Soldiers, we can send them on a raid. Go over there and raid, try not get not get detect detected. We can burn the place down. We can demand tributes. We can take it over and actually and actually take control of that tower if we want. Um, I mean, there is just a there is an obscene amount of depth to this game. It is one of my favorite games ever because of that. And I hope that I've got I've, I've got everything covered for you. Um, if anything's not getting done, probably check the labor, labor screen and make sure that things are, are marked. For instance, I don't have a hunter at the moment. Um, I have a ranger, but he's not actually doing it. Only selected to do this. No one's actually doing it. So I want you to go be a hunter. Hello, Lord. So they'll go out, they'll they'll work the butcher shop, and they will go do butcher things. I don't really need to, to mark any of this stuff. He should do it on his own. The butcher kind of goes with a tanner, tans the hides, and then it goes to a leather worker to make armor or bags or quivers or whatever. Which you'll need if you do a bowyer, if you do an archery squad. All right, there we go. There's Dwarf Fortress. If I, I hope to hear hear your stories in the comments, because I one thing the only thing better than playing Dwarf Fortress is listening to everyone else's stories of Dwarf Fortress. There's some crazy things out there, and um, I I hope you enjoy the game half as much as I do. And uh, getting just getting into the thing is is half the battle. Once you get it all figured out, not too bad. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.